All right, YouTubes. Well, it is, I guess, MIG Monday here. Uh, coming at you from Sunday night here, basically. Yeah, my truck bed is off my truck. And I have a couple days here where I don't have any paying work and I need to get this guy finished. So basically, if you were following along before, I went ahead and built it. Uh, but I didn't go ahead and take it off and kind of weld out the middle here. I basically got it together, got it strong enough that I could use it, get that other truck, or get my truck rather, on the road here, doing what I needed to do to so make some money. Uh, and now I have a few days where I can have this thing off here, and I need to go ahead and weld it out, because some of the welds on the bottom here were really fugly, because it was me hanging underneath the truck just to try and get some get something going here. Uh, a lot of these aren't pretty. Here you can see where I actually uh, where I actually welded it out. Well, it was, or today rather, uh, very little in the middle here before uh, there was no weld in the middle here on my bed, just uh, along the outside here. And now I'm going through and welding it out. And since I ended up having to use a six inch channel on this, what I'm thinking about doing is either making it to where I, this little hatch here pops out and I can put eight foot material in here, which is kind of what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Uh, basically just make, fill this in from this side of the channel to that. I just move over here so you can see a little better. Uh, but basically since this sp space here, this six inches is open, just put a bunch of pieces across the bottom here, doot, 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 doot. and then uh, a stop on this end, and then open up the part of my tailgate there to fold out where it basically would give me six inches by eight feet or so to be able to slide in material and just kind of, you know, let it hang out if I needed to have anything longer than that. Because uh, the cool, or the sucky thing rather, about having the flatbed here with, you know, uh, a bunch of tools on it, is when you have the welder that takes up two foot, you know, toolboxes and everything else, you lose a lot of space for storage of, you know, long material. So I'm thinking that space there, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up and make a door that folds down and I can just have eight foot stuff in there folded up uh, to where when I'm out on the road and I am doing a lot of handrails and things like that, what I can do is if I have a lot of pipe and things like that that I need to store, I can just cut it at eight foot, throw it in there, and keep it nice and tidy. Anyway, I gotta finish welding this guy out here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, coming along nicely here. I'm pretty pleased. Uh, I still need to figure out another toolbox over here to kind of go around where my fuel filler net goes in. But uh, I can deal with that once it gets back on the truck. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks to the people that have bought stickers once again. Let me go over here. I have some, oh yeah. I believe it's on this side right here. Darlington Farm stickers. Uh, yeah, peace sealed welding stickers rather, right there. Uh, if you are interested, two for three bucks, uh, you can message me on the Peacefield Welding Facebook page and I will get instructions to you on how to get those. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please check back the channel and don't forget to click that subscribe button.